Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for checking out my videos again. Um, and a huge shout out to everybody who's been subscribing me and showing me love and uh, entering uh, the contest that I held in my last video. If you haven't seen that already, make sure you go check it out for your chance to win this 12 inch portable television by Leadstar. Um, today, I wanna give a shout out to our sponsor for sending us yet another portable television. Uh, this time they're sending us a 10 inch portable television by Tyler Products and shout out to my guy uh, Ben from Tyler Products for sending yet another one. So I know we've done a couple reviews already on a couple portable TVs. Uh, the first one I had was a Star 12 inch. Um, then it was the Tyler Products 14 inch. Uh, now the reason why we're doing this one is because the both, even though they are considered portable, they are a little big. Um, and this is a 10 inch, depending on what you want to do with it. Um, this would be pretty fine if you want to just have it for your like kids and stuff in the car or if you're traveling with it or something. Um, let me see. So this is the 10 inch. Let's see if it has any battery or if this runs on battery. So this also has a built in battery. I can't remember from the top of my head how long this battery will run um, on a full charge. But uh, I haven't set this up yet, so we're just gonna keep it off and pretty much just do like an initial unboxing on what you would expect to receive when you do open this portable television. So the first thing is you do get a, uh, it looks like a booster for the antenna, um, or actually I think this is a male side that you connect to the TV. And this looks like a female end, which you would connect your antenna. Um, yeah, that's exactly what it looks like on this end also. So they do send the, the type of antenna that they sent in the 14 inch, which I personally liked um, because the one that we did have on the Leadstar 12 inch wasn't really getting reception where we are now. Um, as you can see, it's made out of metal and it does extend pretty long. Um, that's what she said, but uh, moving on. Uh, what else do we have in here? Obviously, it brings the controller. It's not as big as the other one, but you know, it just has your basic number buttons, um, up, down, okay, audio, you know, your regular option for menus and stuff. Now, it does also bring a very much, um, I guess, stubbier antenna that I guess you can connect directly uh, onto the television and this does come on a swivel the only thing is that it looks like on this part uh, I know you guys can't see it right now, but we'll get close-ups in a bit um, It has like a little screw that I guess you can Untighten to move it around and adjust it on the swivel uh, Next up it does bring um, I believe this is a 12 volt charger let's just double check this is a, oh, I'm sorry, a 12 watt charger and the input's 100 to 240 volts. Um, so yeah, it is a 12 volt. It says 12V on there. Uh, next up, we do have another adapter. This one looks like it goes to an aux and you can uh, basically add on your audio, uh, audio, video and I think picture uh, adapter onto it if you have something old like a, I don't know a DVD player or something like that if you want to connect to that also and it does bring a car charger also if you want to uh, you know carry it around in the TV like I mentioned before for your kids or something or if you just want to have a TV in there um, and then it brings the regular antenna that most portable televisions bring, which I would not recommend because look at this thing. I don't know what you would do with it, but yeah, they send it. Um, let me see what else. Now it does bring the stand, which is still wrapped up. It's pretty much the base for the TV. And then it brings a little swivel, which obviously you can't see also because it's in the bag. And I'm not sure, but I believe this is a double-sided uh, tape for the bottom of the base. And you would just, 
you know, obviously take off one side, stick it on, and then you can just plant it if you want to have it somewhere where you don't want it moved. Um, and that's pretty much it for the accessory. All right, y'all, so this is what the base looks like outside of the bag. It has a metal plate, so it's pretty sturdy. It is plastic up top, but you can feel that it has a really nice base to it, and it wouldn't really move around unless you do it yourself. Uh, now to actually assemble this this is the little swivel that came in the bag I was telling you about so you have to unscrew it from here and it releases pressure from this side for you to open up the bottom and then you just unscrew it a little more so that way you have enough room and you literally have to open it enough so that this bottom uh, this bottom opens up enough to put this base on it so that's what we're gonna do just so you guys could see we're gonna take the whole thing off now don't be afraid to do it because you have to really take it off and then um, well not really take it off but you have to disassemble the whole thing for you to be able to get it on and then you screw it on but you obviously want to set it up for how you want the TV the TV to be um, I guess sitting or facing if you want it on an angle or if you want it straight and then you'll just screw it on we're just gonna put it a little more straight and then you just hold it and tighten it until it's really tight and you can feel it because it doesn't move anymore it doesn't swivel so now we're going to look at the TV itself. Um, on the right side, we only have the USB uh, port and the HDMI in. Now these are full size, so that's pretty cool for a little 10 inch. On the right side, uh, we have the AV out, then we have the AV in your on and off and the 12 volt uh, port to charge it now this is what the back looks like uh, these are I'm assuming where it has like an exhaust um, and then your two speakers here on the bottom now it looks like yeah it does come with a little stand also if you want to just you know have it sit up by itself without using the stand and then uh, up top we have where the antenna goes now you see I guess that's why they have the adapter because it sits pretty far in there so that was pretty cool Then in the front you have the power uh, sorry that's not the button this is the power button along with the mode button and your exit button and the menu button your volume down and up your ok and your channels um, and this is not a button either now this kind of has like a design where it kind of looks like this would rock open but I don't think it does let's see nope it does not come off so this is what it looks like um, I'm gonna put in the description how long this battery runs but this is what it looks like when you start it up and if you guys want to check it out, how it looks like when you um, put this. Oh, okay, so I get it. So it actually, if you see at the bottom here, it has like a little part where you can put this metal. So you actually have to have it turned a bit because if not, it'll just be flat. I didn't know that's, what, that's how you did it. Okay, so I adjusted it now. And we should be able to just slide this on at the bottom. There you go. And that's how the TV will sit on the uh, base, which is pretty secure, but it does come off pretty easily, as you can see. So maybe there's like another way of. Uh, tightening this up or something all right y'all thanks for checking out this video again 
um, if you haven't already please go check out my last video if you want to enter for a chance to win this 12 inch portable television by Ledstar and I had also mentioned in my last video that I was going to be doing another giveaway for you guys because y'all been showing so much support and love uh, I'm going to be giving away the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare y'all for any platform I don't care if you got PlayStation, Xbox, PC or even if you have the Switch and you want to be playing Call of Duty I'm going to hook y'all up all y'all got to do is like this video and drop down in the comments whatever platform y'all have all right and i'm gonna check y'all out in the next video don't forget i have to see your comments y'all to know that you guys are entered in this if not anybody can literally comment at the last minute and win this game for free y'all gonna miss out i'm gonna probably announce the winner on my instagram so make sure y'all always check to see if i've announced it i'm gonna probably do it that weekend or the week of I'm going to announce the winner so that way on the release date, I'm going to just give you guys the code. So again, just like this video and drop down in the comment section what platform you have and make sure you're following me at GeoTheDog on Instagram. And I'm going to announce the winner on the, the week of the 25th, probably that the day before, honestly. So on the 24th, I'm going to announce the winner so that way y'all have it on the actual release date. Once again, I appreciate all the love and support, and I'm going to catch you on the next one.